Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the uh, sixth day of the StarCraft II Chalmers Championship. Today, we're going to show you the second half of the quarterfinals. There were 16 players who signed up for the tournament, and after today, there will only be four left. My name is Flex, and with me, well, I have Fredasmys. Hello, Fredasmys. Hello, hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, so please chat, let us know if you can hear both of us and the game and so on uh, later on, so we know that we don't have any audio issues. So let's look closer at the games we're gonna look at today. So first off, we're going to show you uh, uh, Zerg versus Terran between Cyanit and Jock. And then afterwards, as soon as they are done, we're going to move into MRK versus Tux, a Zerg versus Protoss, the final Protoss of the tournament. Exciting! I know we, you have, you were uh, hyped about Protoss Fiasmis, but we'll have to wait with that until uh, the second match of today. Well, I can wait. I can wait. Good. Okay, so uh, the matches uh, here are going to be best of fives, and the uh, map is already ready, and the players are loading in. So, let's jump right into it. See here, can you see the game here? Yeah, there we go. In the top right corner of Oxide, we have representing the physics division. It is seeing it. Wow! Clap, 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 clap. And in the bottom left corner of Oxide, we have it. He is the last electrical engineer. It is Jock. Wow! Clap, 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 clap. fellow caster being on display today. Yes, Jock is part of the co-caster crew, and he will be casting the finals on Saturday. There we go. Wow. Audio is good in the, in the chat. Great, thank you. Ke yeah, we're looking at the chat as we speak, so please keep the chat alive, and uh, we'll uh, look into it. Oh. And yes, please use the clapboard. Yes. That's fun. We are streaming with a one-minute delay, so the clap will be delayed, but uh, that's something we have to deal with. Okay, we have a, a two hatch before expand, possibly. No, just a scout. Okay, so just a hatch first from Cianit here, which is a, a macro opening here. I'm gonna go a gas and a pool later. And on the other side, we have a barracks, gas, probably a command center on the low ground. So mm -hmm. standard macro openings from the two players. I wonder if we will see as fast uh, games as we did yesterday when everything was 3 0, right? Yes, both 3 0s yeah, matches yesterday. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to be interesting to see if it's going to be 2 3 0s today. Again, we'll see. Hopefully, that won't happen so we can show you more good games. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so we had a uh, no drone scout, no SCV scout. So, they are both other players are in the dark. The first scouting will be this overlord, and it should see the uh, command center Natural. on the low ground. And uh, the first scouting from the Terran will be the Reaper. Very standard opening, opening up with the Reaper. But yeah, Fias Miss, as you said before, we've seen this player's uh, play before. Especially Jock has uh, had a few series live streamed, and it has been versus Zerg as well. And then he hit a quite a strong uh, Marine Helion timing versus Teket in two series we saw. And he used that multiple times. So we'll see if he pulls it out against Sianet uh, this game, because that's very possible. If he goes for the uh, second barracks, but he doesn't. So we'll see what happens. Let's see what that Reaper gets to do. Yeah, he gets in, uh, damages a few units, but doesn't get any kills. And I don't know, but uh, he scouts around. He sees that there is a second base. He also sees that there's a third base mm. even. So it's a very much a macro game. And we instantly see a uh, third command center from Jock as well. So this is going to be a the macro is the macro opening you can see uh, standard wise. Interesting, interesting. Uh, is the clapboard working? Yes, but it's on a delay as we said earlier. But it does work indeed. Yeah. Uh, so I hope so at least. They, uh, they should hear it. So if you write yeah. exclamation point clap in the chat and then look at the clock and then wait uh, one minute, then you should hear it. Um, yeah. So now we hear it on our side. And we'll, you'll hear it in one minute, so uh, that's how it is. Uh, we uh, have to have a delay now when we are protecting the tournament integrity of the uh, players. So a random clap for everyone Yes. in a minute. So we have a overall scout here. 
sees the third command oh. center, very important nice. scout there, because then the Zerg player knows that there won't be any two base timing pushes. So very good scouts all around, they've both seen each other's third bases. Yes, uh, so we see a Roach Warren here, uh, possibly defensive, uh, to deal with the, with the Hellions that he saw. Uh, which is also really true because we see even more drones coming out from the physics player. So uh, we still have another physics player that moved on to the semifinals yesterday. So if Sienis loses, then there's still uh, physics representation. But Jock is the only electrical engineer, so uh, he mm -hmm. it's do or die for the electrical engineering division. So I'm seeing both Fs in the chat and yeah. cheering for Electro. Nice. Yeah. Uh, if possible, please change the color of your name to whatever division it is that you're cheering on, because then it makes seeing who what people are cheering on much easier. Uh, we saw a Hellion poke here, didn't do much, but it keeps the creep uh, back, so there's no creep going out of the third base ye yet. Uh, otherwise, very macro openings. Uh, it's probably the macroest game we've seen on stream for a... Uh, Probably during the entire tournament, actually. Yeah, possibly, possibly. Yeah, so we see uh, what seems to be bio play here from the Terran. Uh, well, let's see if we can make something happen with those Hellions. And then on the opponent's side, we are seeing drones, drones, drones. He have a lair. He has a lair, and there we see the tech. I was just about to ask for it. So, spire for the Zerg player. So we're going to see Mutalisks play here. Nice, nice. I was, I was uh, waiting for that longer game. I said that last week. I yeah. want some long games with the expensive units. So we might see that from the Zerg. Yeah. Oh? The Zerg player sees the steam researching here. It could be a fake, but it's very uh, very possibly true. Maybe. So um, the Zerg player knows that it is a uh, uh, bio play from the Terran. Yeah. We have some defensive roaches here to deal with the Hellions while he's waiting for his spire. So as soon as the spire is done, we should see um, Six to ten mutalisks popping out, and then the harassment starting from the Zerg player instead. Oh, let's see if these Hellions can make something happen. Yeah, so a lot of units here, uh, he's and the, the defensive roaches here are in very good position. So we'll, let's see if he can perhaps uh, scan away some tumors as well. The, the, the creep is not super uh, good yet. Uh, I think the Hellions have their presence have uh, at least pushed back the creep tumors, even though that they haven't gotten that much destruction done or drones burnt. I was just going to say that I think that the creep spread is good, actually. Between the bases and towards the fourth? Yeah, we're probably looking at the fourth base here, yeah. possibly here, but none of those bases are yet fully connected. Uh, if there would have been a, a hard push here uh, against a building fourth base, you'd want the Zerg to be able to defend it before the tanks are reaching the base, so to say. Uh, and there that macro uh, play comes uh, comes in seven mutalisks at a time and, and, and that's some nice my, uh, macro yeah it's because you, you bank a lot of gas while he's waiting for it okay now we have a push here so let's see what happens this is going to be very interesting uh the server player knows about it all there's a tank here can you siege it up he's, he's not in range of the hatchery uh the mm. mutalisks Mutus are out should pick it up but pick up yeah, the tank there's two tanks here uh the, he sees pick the mutalisks now oh, oh. oh he goes back uh, the oh Mutalisk no, oh doesn't no. get the tank, the Mutalisks are not good in direct engagements and he loses uh, two Mutalisks for the tank, that could mm. be good. Can he get the third base if he if he focus fires on it? No, he goes for the drones instead. This is a very important fight, Mutalisks are picking off reinforcements. The base is still alive, Can 18 oh drones wow. down, this is a great play from the electrical engineer. Wow. Oh, he, did he shoot his own tank there accidentally? Oh no, Maybe that's a, a very unfortunate. He needs that base. It looked like it. It's a, it's a big kill getting it, and he, he gets it. Oh, no, no. What? Oh, 29 health? Ah, he gets it. Oh, good. Oh. And he lifts up, and he gets out of there. Uh, oh, okay. So now it's up to the Zerg to make something happen, because he the army of the Zerg is now much bigger, because the Terran traded away his units to get the base. Oh, he doesn't want to lose these against the medevac. Oh, he drops it desperately. Oh, no. Can we get some defensive tanks here? Siege it up, maybe? Siege up. He's... Uh, Jock is leading in the economy right now, so much. Mm. He needs to pull away all his SVs, put them back to the natural. Uh, That's w that uh, was what happened to Zenith, wasn't it? He let his workers oh no, play oh no, 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 around attack. too long, so he lost all of them. Same thing here. Yeah, he, he didn't pull the workers in time. And then he attacked with him at the end. So now we're losing this base means that they're even on the workers again. And oh, so Zenith is actually leading in workers and in army, as we speak. Yeah. So I, I like Jock's attack there, but I'm not 
he had he's floating 3,000 minerals. If that would have been uh, 60 marines, then he could have <laughs> steamed down this army and the muralisks. So uh, we're seeing some uh, macro slip-ups, so to say. He only has he only has two barracks, so his production is very not scaled, so to say. Let's see if he can push this back. Uh, Cianit was able to uh, move, make his fourth base into a third base, so his economy is going to pick back up quite soon. And uh, Jock really needs to spe spend his money. He's building up two more barracks, but uh, and, uh, I would like to see like two or three more even. Yeah. Due to this now. Uh, and he's stuck in his second base. Yeah, it's a very bad contain. We can see the Zerg player now is going to retake the economic league after losing his third base. This is a. Uh, this is not looking good for electrical engineer right now. Being put on two bases is not good. He wants to move out and take this third base. Okay, so he's going to try to float it. He has to protect it then. Seating up. Oh, where the tanks are too close, so they can get Ooh. sniped by single bias. These are also very close. Nice. Oh, more tanks. I'm not sure if it's enough. Ah, the Zerg player is pushing into the natural here. We're looking at the armor supply, the mo most of the Terran players' units are in the production. There's only a few handful left. He's pulling his SEVs to try and fight, but uh, workers are not very good anymore to fight. Uh, I enjoy that the Zerg didn't do this as an all-in, I'm thinking, because he did a banelingness behind this, so maybe he's thinking that the game should go on for a bit longer so that he gets banelings out. Yeah, maybe. Uh, he also is working on plus two upgrades, so it's not at all an all-in, uh, and he's even making ten more drones or nine more drones. So it looks like an all-in, though. It could work as an all-in, couldn't it? Uh, well, uh, you, yeah, roach maxes are a fine strategy, uh, but I think this wasn't more of a this wasn't a planned aggression, more than a response to the defensive units that he had to make, and then he just moved across the map. Uh, it seemed mm. like mutilists was what he was intending to use offensively, and they they didn't really have a window to work. But the Roaches were able to defend the attack. Where he lost his base, but he had enough Roaches to be able to punish the Terran for not uh, having any units back at home. We're seeing minus 23, 24 workers here, and uh, I don't think the Terran is ever going to be able to clean up all these Roaches. Yeah. We're seeing and more see units. And he's on the map. very good with spending his money. He was just down on zero again. Oh no. GG gets oh, called! G -G. Wow, first game of clap, today clap, clap. goes to CMAT. But that was uh, close there. I think Jock definitely had a uh, a play there. Uh, and it, I think it caught CMAT off guard quite a, quite a bit. Yes, some good players we have here. And the chat says, Zenith take it, Zenith pushes. Push it. <laughs> yeah. Difficult to say. Thank you, Joe Mann, for saying that. Yeah, so Joe Mann is mm. one of the players who played yesterday, and he's, uh, I believe, a, a teammate of Zenit. So uh, I'm sure they've practiced a lot together. Uh, we're now go going to move into the next map, and it's going to be a Submarine. Ooh, okay. So that was one of the maps that Zenit banned, and now Jock picked it. Which is an interesting format for those who don't know. We're playing loser's pick, which means that the loser gets to pick out of all maps uh, whenever they lose, so to say. Uh, which I believe is uh, an interesting format to promote longer series. And I think that's going to be necessary in this tournament. Because there were, as we said, two three O's yesterday. So let's hope there's not two three O's today. Okay, so we are getting the players ready here for match number two, or game number two, I should say. We hope you're having a good time in the chat. Please show your best memes, your best cheers, and your best copy pastas fitting to this tournament. Just put them in the chat, <laughs> all the emotes and everything. Um, yes. Yeah. Okay, we're now loading in. If you can hear those beeps in the background, it's the map loading. We're going to play on Submarine, as I said before. And uh, let's see if uh, Jock can not just deliver an attack like that and then follow through in the defense as well, perhaps. Okay, let's uh, move into the game. In the top left corner of Submarine, we have representing the physics division, it is... Zenit! Wow! Clap, clap, clap. 
And in the bottom right corner, we have the last electrical engineering. He's down 1 0. Can we get some cheer in the chat for Jock? Wow. May he be bringeth to see. What? The game. Remove the Maybe. thing, because that's just a faulty copy pasta. So, may the game be bringeth to Zenith and his opponent forfeit. Ah. Uh, let's see. Let's set the score. There we go. And there we go. Okay. When also another thing we saw before from Zenith, uh, I mean from Jock, was he was proxy raxing Terrence before. But now we're seeing an early pool from uh, Zenith. But this is more of a uh, defensive pool timing, so it's not going to be an early cheese. So he's going to get his secondary base up now. So it's going to be interesting to see if Jock perhaps tries to do a cheese, if not now, maybe next game, because he uh, he has done that before, so to say. We're not... This map, the overlords, as you can see on the path on the map, they cover quite a lot of space, so if you want to hide barracks on the map, then it's like you need to put, push them, uh, or put them quite f far away. On different mm -hmm. maps, the signs, then the overlords' path towards the enemy base are not covering this well around the map. You can also see this overlord here, it goes down here just to spot for barracks. So um, a hidden barracks here would have been found. Okay, uh, we have s similar open to last game, completely standard barracks, gas, command center on the low ground, and uh, this was a little. Oh, this is. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is very not standard, as you should say. No, that's very early. Yes, a roach oh. war on this timing screams aggression. Uh, getting it for defense this early is not necessary. Uh, so this this is definitely offense. We're going to see early roaches from Cianit soon. Let so you thought Jock was the one that was going to make something interesting, aggressive, but maybe it's Cianit this time. Uh, it looks like it, but Jock and is going. What will the Reaper see? I, he definitely. Oh. I hope he jumps into the main right here. Jump up, oh. and then scouts mm. that Roach Warren because seeing that Roach Warren is extremely important. If he sees it right, no, he doesn't. He only scouts for the third base and then gets home mm. because uh, the two Zerglings were able to pick off the SUV. Nice. So, so he has a delay on uh, his natural. Lost one SUV. Will he lose the other one? This is not good. I, I, I. The the Zerglings mm. not just that they delayed the base, but they pulled back the Reaper who, were who was just about to scout the main base. So, oh, so now there's roaches oh, moving yeah. across the map, and if we look in the units tab, there's one Reaper, and that's it. There's no other army units for the Terran player. He needs a bunker and SUVs uh, repairing it. He should see this right now. Let's move to his vision. We're now following Jock's camera. He misses the roaches with the reaper. The reaper oh, goes, he oh, wants to scout oh yeah. the third base. Oh no, oh no, no. When will he see the roaches? When will he react? I will follow follow him, He please. needs to lift his base off. Immediately lift this off. Oh, lift no. it off. Oh no, the barracks is in there to perhaps take an overlord. He has no idea about this attack. He oh, he lifts it off. He lifts it off. He understands yeah, that the, this, is, this is problematic. He's not building anything out of the factory. Uh, it's only three roaches, but uh, this is not an all at all an uh, all in. And he's in. See, and his macro room behind it. Uh, he should be able to clean this up, but he's going to lose quite a bit of uh, SVs and also the second base mining time. It's not an orbital; it's losing energy. Uh, this is a very decisive play from Sinit, delaying the expansion by a lot, by meanwhile being able to drone up. Aye, aye, aye. And also, you're keeping your opponent busy. Uh, by ins by instead having to defend instead of yeah and Jock is now scared so he, he builds even more defenses with a bunker here and he lands the orbital in his main so but we've talked about this this can also be dangerous telling your opponent that oh I'm going to be aggressive and then your opponent gets ag aggressive and then you have some marines knocking on your front door yeah you're right but uh, there's an overlord here that can scout as soon as the Terran moves out and he already has a Roach Warren with Roach Speed even researching, which, which is extremely early to get Roach Speed this early. Which means that the defensive Roaches will be able to handle any type of non-steam attack coming uh, in. in mm. Even if he has steam, there's no man that acts with this army at all. So uh, this sets Jock back in the economy a lot. I think those two early Zerglings were like the real MVPs of this game. Because those two Zerglings pulling back the Reaper was very decisive. The Reaper just would have gone in and scouted, gone in here, jumped up, scouted the Roche border, then this game would have looked a lot different. Uh, and still, even though he got his Reaper home, he still lost uh, the SUV and he still lost mining time. 
Yeah, as a result of the of the uh, roaches, yes, and even the surgling as well for taking. No, the surglings I meant. The surglings already yeah. cancelled that base yeah. once or delayed it at least. Yeah, it's because he opened up with uh, a reaper into a reactor, so he had no defensive unit at home at all, and that's quite risky with, with the command center on the low ground. And seeing it did the pool very early, so uh, that's what that's what can happen. Okay, so the economy is still in the lead for Cianit. He's taking his third base. He has He's roaches. taking a spire. Yeah, he has roaches with roach speed and he's giving a spire. So the roaches will be enough defensively and uh, he's going to be able to put on an uh, offensive with his spire as soon as it's done. Uh, this overlord is still alive, which means that Cianit can see the army units. He has an overseer scouting as well, being able to see the position of the third base and the timing of it. He doesn't have any way to get. He doesn't have any way to get that overlord down because he doesn't have a medivac that can see it on the high ground, right? Uh, he does. So he can't get it down. No, I, that was also what he did try to do in the beginning. You saw that the barracks was lifted up. Uh, the, this barracks was in the air when the surging yeah. attacked. Uh, surging attacked, and I believe that was just to scout the high ground here. So. Uh, oh, is it worth it actually to pull up your b barracks for just? If you're not, getting if you're like going to go mech or whatever, you often see a barracks in the air. Uh, but that early is not often something you see. He's got a Viking out now, right? Or he was making a Viking, I saw. Maybe that can get that Overlord away. No, it was a medevac, sorry. Okay, so Sianit sees the attack moving out. Meanwhile, he's going to hit with the Mutalisks. Uh, no workers? There are workers here, I was just on his vision. So oh, the, the, the question is, can the Roaches defend the Terran army? And is there anything home to defend the Mutalisks? I don't think it, there is. There's, mm, he's pulling back his entire army, so there's not going to be any uh, real trading of resources, so to say. And this is going to sediment Sienit's uh, advantage in his game. Uh, he's going to lose a lot of workers here, Jokin is going to continuously put Sienit even more ahead. He is building a turret, that's nice. The Mutalists didn't take that SUV that built the turret. Oh, they did. There's, there's going to be a turret here, but uh, I think the damage is already done. Minus 21 workers. Uh, I think uh, Jock Oof. soon needs just needs, just need to go across the map and try to finish it. Perhaps even pull all his workers, because he's not going to be able to win the macro game and continuously. Yeah, but look at the army supply. Uh, yeah, but a lot of that is just in roaches. So uh, and also mm. the upgrades are not done yet on the other side. Uh, where are the roaches? Uh, oh, they're here. Oh, <laughs> so the, hello. the attack is coming to him. Uh, no siege yet. He steams. And the uh, mutilis snipe the tank with micro. Oh, they tried Ooh. to, but no. Nope. Okay. A good split there. So that was a good trade from Jock. I the believe. mutas are still in the main though, no? No, I think they're all dead. They all died. Oh, that went fast. Uh, so there's well, no nice. energy on this medevac, so the Terran army is very bruised, and there's going to be a attack here oh, on the third no. base. What do you do? Do you lift that CC? Uh, he or doesn't have to, but I think he's so far behind. Yeah, I, I. I think he defended quite well, though. Yeah. Sergami uh, supply is going down, and his supply is only getting up. Yeah, but the problem is that even though he's trading efficiently, he's not trading this efficiently. So uh, the Serg army is going to get bigger and bigger. Uh, he's researching upgrades, so his army is going to get yeah. better. Jock is not Corruptors, researching upgrades. I must say. I, Sorry. Jock already has two oh, engineers oh no. and makes two more. Ah. So he's obviously flustered and he's still on a very, very low worker count. Okay, now he tries to make an attack happen. And I, the attack was this size two minutes ago, but he didn't make the attack. And now he's going to make the attack, and now the Serg army is much, much bigger. He's making corruptors. Interesting to yeah, see. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's the timing for Broodlers yet, so that possibly just appears to be to fend off uh, uh, Medivacs. Yeah. And we're seeing a baneling nest again. Wonder if he gets to uh, do any banelings. He did in the last game because he won right before. Yeah, I expect there to be uh, banelings later at least when banelings spin is done. Yeah. Okay, so the Terran just tried to scare the Zerg player and then move back again, clear some creep for some units. But as I said before, I'm not sure if Jock is going to be able to win the macro game because he doesn't know exactly how well off Sienit is. But Sienit has a lot more workers and has had for a long time. So Sienit is going to be soon maxing out, and he has upgrades, uh, good upgrades. He has plus one, plus one, ready. The Terran player is not. Let's see what can happen. Oh. 
We have a siege up. There's only one tank with very boost. Michael here. Oh. So there, there is a good uh, concave from both players. The Terran is not in range on his tanks. But anymore. is it enough? I don't, there's just not enough Terran units here. There's too few. Too few units. And that's what happens when you are more than one base behind. Link counterattack, killing 12 workers uh, in the meantime. This is not looking good for our electrical engineer. It isn't. It's an III on Juno. Yes, it is. It surely is. So let's see if maybe he can make something happen in the next game instead. Wow. Congratulations. GG. GG. So this means that we have a 2-0 lead to Sienit. Wow, and someone thought that he was going to make a 3-0. We can only wait and see. As we said, it would be interesting to get as many games as possible, actually. A 3-2 would be very nice. Yeah. Maybe in the finals we'll see two players that are very evenly matched, and then we'll see many games. Yeah. Uh, and as we said, if this match is quick, or even if it's not quick, we'll still have one match afterwards, so don't worry. Don't worry. This will not be the last game of tonight, even if it goes... Uh, a 3 -0. Okay. We're getting ready for the next next game. Yes. Is it Pillars of Gold or did I see that correctly? It is Pillars of Gold. Uh, mm -hmm. And funnily enough, it was one of the maps that Jock himself actually banned and now we're playing on it. So maybe he has some ideas specific for it. Uh, as I said, if he's going to cheese, then the, this is the perhaps his last time to do it. And we'll see if the overlords of Zenith will be able to scout it. Okay. And we're starting a game. Counting down has start. Wow, claps in the chat. Wow, clap, clap, clap. clap, clap, clap. Uh, we hope everyone has having a good time watching. There's 40 of you watching now. I uh, hope you're all having a swell time this Wednesday evening. I hope all your new courses are uh, nice and everything. And uh, your life is swell. Before the midterms, <laughs> before the next uh, test. Yeah, for the midterms uh, or the final exams. Okay. Yeah. Physics for the win. Yes. Let's see though. Let's move into the game. He is up 2-0, poised to move on to the semi-finals. He is representing the physics division. It is Cyanid. Wow! Clap! 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 And in the top right position of the map, he's down 2-0. Ace doing something cheeky. It is Jock. Wow, clap, clap, clap. So let's see here. Okay, doing something cheeky, you say. Yes. As you can see here. Let's see this and this and that. So, oh, oh, this. Oh, I was the just first gonna say. I was just gonna say. Is that a good first position, though? The overlord scouted. The first overlord. Oh. Does he know that the overlord no. scouted it? He can't see that, right? His vision Jock isn't. Knows it. No, no. Oh, can you see if he has seen? No, you, you can't see if oh. he has seen the overlord. Um, yeah, see you. And there's no wall back at home. Mm. So it's a complete all-in. There's no workers being built, so it's an absolute complete all-in. And we have drones pulled. And do you think that's the right way to go? Yeah. If you see this, yeah. you pull your drones, yeah. <gasps> and he cancels it. He has to cancel. Will they go into a normal game now? What do they do? Uh, normal and normal. Mm. Senate has a normal opening. He has a yeah. reasonably timed pool and a hatchery afterwards. Well, but okay. As normal yeah. as you can. Yeah, 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 yes, right. it does. But what I was going to say was that Senate right. is almost not affected by this at all. And on the other side, we have Jock, who is affected by it, to say the least. He has no real wall off because of the supply depot placement. His barracks is super late. He doesn't have a um, orbital command at all. No base on the low ground, what? nothing. This is oh. uh, looking like he, he. This is further behind than what he has been in the openings of any of the other games. So this is not looking good. We have four surgeons on the way, six surgeons on the way, and there's no wall off, no units, nothing. This I might was going to say. Oh, sorry. I was going to say about the supply depot positioning. Why would you want to uh, position it back there? If he would, so that the the opponent wouldn't see it. Yeah. Uh, if if we do, uh, no, not necessarily that, but also just to preserve the uh, SCV building time. Because uh, if he mm -hmm. was going to not ever have a wall at all, then it's better to have a depot here than a random depot here. Uh, 
Not sure. Maybe building a depot here is also legit. Uh, it, it oh, saves and here they come, yeah. the links. And there's not a single unit here. He's starting oh. one, is one marine now. He went for a reactor to try and catch up, but no, the Zerglings are already here. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's no no army units from Jock at all here. Yeah, but as you said, if he's going to try to chase, he has to do it now, and he did. Yeah, but the, that placement mm. was just a little bit too close. Uh, if it would have yeah. been further back, we maybe would have been unscouted. But the position maybe. there was unfortunately not sufficient. This is not looking good. Uh, we're all... Yes, <laughs> murky face. Or <was> winky face. <laughs> winky face from... Squid, yeah. uh, that's Jock, right? Six pool Jock, yes. Um, yes. Uh. But he's a Terran. Uh, mm -hmm. And you start with twin workers nowadays. But yes. Mm -hmm. uh, good luck in semis. G -G. Wow, GG. Wow, <laughs> congratulations. Sen nice. Sending a nice message, message for Zenith to uh, have luck in the semi final. Yes, so oh. that was very quick it was half an hour almost exactly for all wow. three games clap in the chat clap in the chat and uh bible thumb for electrical engineering who are now officially eliminated from the tournament well thanks for participating jock yep definitely uh without players competing even though they get eliminated if they wouldn't have never would have joined then we wouldn't have any players so uh, but we'll hear from Jock again on Saturday when he casts the final. Exactly. So that's nice. That's correct. So, uh, there you can see the updated bracket. You can see uh, EG... No, that's the wrong player. Uh, that's not correct. Getting a second chance. No, it can't <laughs> be in two parts of the bracket at once. So, let's see. There we go. There it is. So we have uh, Cianit moving on, putting both of the two physics division representatives in the round of four in the semi-finals. Very strong showing by physics so far. Uh, winter interview. We're not going to have a winter interview today. We're going to ask the players about it uh, for the semi-finals, but we're not going to have it today. Uh, so what this means that is that we're going to take a break between getting the uh, next round of players ready so uh, please grab a drink go to the bathroom and uh, we'll see you all soon
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Time to show you the second match of today. Uh, so that was another quick 3-0. Let's see if we can make 4-4-4 with the uh, last semi-final game. Uh, oh, it's going to be between the um, Bachelor Engineering's MRK and the last software engineer, Tux. So there were five software engineers in the tournament and there's only one left. Wow. 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 And we're starting off a juggernaut. Yeah. So uh, let's see what the players will bring to the table. As you said, juggernaut first map. Let's jump into it. Okay, in the bottom left corner of Juggernaut, we have representing Bachelor Engineering and Ceres. It is MRK. Shout out to my boy Jib in the chat. Jib, you're being shouted you're being out. Shouted out. Can we get a clap? In the top right part of the map, we have representing Software Engineer, Turquoise, and the Smurfs. It is Tux. Wow. Wow. Okay, we're seeing some good Robin fans in the chat. That is MRK. So let's see if he can bring it, bring the hype. Uh, openings we have. Oh yes, it's the Protoss player now. So we have a standard uh, gateway in the main position. And what's happened to the minimap? Is it usually? It's, it's like a probe it? scouting just. No, but in the minimap uh, at the sides, it's translucent. Oh yes, yeah, so the map you... is very very uh, thin, so to say. So the map is only this oh. wide. So there's this is just. Uh, trans transparent, so you can oh. see stuff in between here. Wow. Sorry, probe blocking. Yeah. Oh, oh, he oh. Can he survive as well? Oh, that's, oh that's he has nice. to, otherwise it's, it isn't yeah. worth so it. So MRK tries to oh. go for the hatchery first and gets blocked off. That is a small victory by Tux, and he gets this awkward natural base instead. Uh, meanwhile, we have a drone here. Will we see a proxy hatchery in the main, maybe? I don't know. Oh, that's an interesting second pylon. Oh, there's a lot of workers as well, so he's very afraid of the proxy. Oh, oh. Very afraid of the proxy hatch. Wow. Uh, <laughs> heard the Rosa in the chat. La Mao. What, what is that? Uh, because this, it's a big <laughs> meme of the Bachelor of Engineering. People calling them uh, pink instead of cities, and it makes them uh, furious, I hear. Uh, oh, oh that's, Wow, that's a big clap. We haven't had that big of a clap introduction, I think. That was a nice very nice claps. clap. Nice claps. People are excited. Yeah. Nice claps. But isn't it the same uh, with the colors for IT? That it isn't blue, it's, uh, it's tur actually turquoise. Yeah, but no one in their right mind would ever call it blue. This is obviously oh. turquoise. Oh, getting flustered already. Oh, yeah, getting. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we have a interesting long base uh, position here from Tux, not taking his natural base yet. Hmm. Uh, just to state, MRK was the winner of his group, and Tux was the runner-up of his group. So there might be a... Uh, uh, possible advantage to MRK, we'll see what happens. Uh, he actually let the pylon finish. I didn't realize, sorry, before, but he let it finish. That's not too usual, actually. Mm. Or is it? Mm, I don't know. You can let it finish. Uh, yes, it's fine, you can, but, but is it is it worth it? Uh, I pr you probably cancel it F if you know that their base was taken here. But no. I'm not sure if he knew about it. He saw the drone go up here, but he doesn't really know about it yet at all. Uh, except for right now when it's already finished. We okay. have two cellots here, uh, more barracks being made, I mean uh, gateways, and no base. So this is going to be a one base attack from Tux soon. Oh, but it, does he even have a twilight? He doesn't have charger or anything. Oh, uh, cellots are just, oh, I, I'm not oh, a big fan of this. Queen is stuck. So uh, let's see if these uh, cellots can trade efficiently. Not they a big get, fan. Are they got, oh, maybe get the drone, no, no. Okay, now they're stuck. They they're were stuck. stuck somewhere. Okay. Two mm -hmm. drones, not sure about that. I think those settles will perhaps be more valued for the coming attack because Tux is looking to stay on one base for a long time and then he needs to needs to make something happen. He's otherwise going to be too far behind. MRK gets a very important scout. Seeing this means all hands on deck. He needs to make as much units as possible. He's making yep. Zerglings. He has no other tech, but he's going to have a lot of Zerglings at least. Yes, and he does have speed, so... Yeah. That gets him a long way since we don't see any other upgrades from the proto side. Oh, he gets his natural. This is very okay. interesting. There's overall, hmm. overall scouting in the main base. He's going to see. There, I saw it before, but there are three gateways here. There's a fourth there, but you can't see it yet. And he, he sees gate tech being done. Uh, there is a, a pylon out on the map. Oh, this circling. Can it get to see the base? Uh, yep. I saw already yep. seen it. I saw it, it actually. It did. 
Oh. So we have a perfect scout from MRK, very important. He knows that Tux is trying to take his second base, which means that MRK can do the same, take another base, macroing up, taking up. So uh, I think uh, MRK has a good read on his opponent, and uh, let's see if he can defend oh. this attack, and if he does, he's going to quickly firm in lead. Oh, he oh. sees the pylon, and he also sees the army. But I'm so not little sure push if he has enough coming units. In. Oh, he goes for the spines. He needs some oh, defensive no, no. structures. MRK has had such a good scout, but he underbuilt army units. This is uh, going to perhaps cost him a, a lot here. So we're oh. seeing. He's abandoning the base. He's getting the workers oh, uh, good, away uh, from there. Uh, yeah, there is no real army. Blink. He snipes the queens. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. If he gets this spine, he can stay here, get the base. Do we see more warping ins? Yes, we do. So we're seeing Protoss reinforcements. Uh, he's oh, going he for the kill almost. Oh, he's going he further in. He's not satisfied with only getting the third base. He wants to kill more. He skips the base, goes in for the army. Yeah, I'm not sure what I feel like this. Uh, this is risky. Uh, mm -hmm. If he loses this army without getting the third base, he's not going to be happy. Yeah. Did he overextend? Did he do too much? I don't know. He could go back here and try to kill the base instead. Because mm -hmm. now he's very deep on creep, very deep into the base. Yeah. Mm. And there's no warp prism or anything to micro no, it's, the it's units or warp in new units. So he's ha he has a slow warping quite far away. Yeah. Hmm, maybe it's enough. He's evacuating his natural, the Zerg player. I'm not sure. I think the, there, there should be enough units popping out if you kill up this. Uh, these units, they're too far away, the reinforcements. What do you think about the army composition? Stalker, Zealot, um, Havoc, no, uh, Sentry, sorry. Yeah, it's like uh, all tier one units except for Adepts. Uh, interesting choice. Okay, because uh, now we have enough surgeons oh, oh. here, we can get us around oh, there. Okay. okay, and he oh. has his base, so maybe he can just oh, force wield. continue. Oh, force wield. Oh, oh, oh. oh, good defense, yes, good, good micro. And Tux's no um, motto was. Uh, what is a micro and how can I get one? I yes. think he did very well for himself, but since he didn't get that base, now the Zerg player can just fill it up with drones again. Can we have a look at the world's greatest graph, as we call it? The income advantage graph. Okay. Yeah, so there were a lot of drones killed and a lot of drones sent around, not working. So there is a lead for Tux right now, which is very good because of his very late natural expansion. But now he's hunting down yeah. every reinforcement Look. and the pylon as well. He has to get rid of that There's as There's well. going to be a lot of surgeons incoming. We have a very defensive oh. position oh. and an air transition. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure about how many holes there are in this base. You should be able to run surgeons mm. in here. Yes. I don't think you can run here or here though. But oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh. This is not. I was just gonna ask you, what do you want to see from the Stargates? But maybe that's not interesting right now. Uh, he's gonna defend Shield this, battery. But uh, if he would have just only had his stalkers in this hole instead, it would have been such an extremely much easier hold. He hasn't seen that the Protoss go, go, uh, went for air units, but at home he's making his Hydrodan, which uh, produce Hydrodis that can shoot upwards. Yeah. But that's interesting, that's a good counter. What do you want to see from the Stargate flex? Uh, I think he's going to go Void Race. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not sure about it, but I think that's what he's going to do. Uh, mm -hmm. I believe that's what he's done before. Yeah, uh, and he does. Yeah. Two Void Ray in production. Yeah, so the Void Rays are good against uh, arm armored targets and uh, the Hydralisks, as Freyasmus pointed out, which can be built from the Zerg player now, are not armored and can shoot up. So they are going to be a good counter. Let's see if the Tux can uh, handle it. He's going to need more splash damage on the ground, like Storm, High Templars or um, Disruptors, maybe Colossus as well. Let's see what happens. Um, we also want to see a third base from Tux now. He has been on two bases for a long, long time. His main base is running out of the minerals here. You see there are fewer and fewer patches. Uh, but will he be able to go into one of those splash units since that need um, requires another structure? You need the Templar archives or the Robo and he's already gone into Stargate. Yeah, you're right. Uh, he's going to spend a lot of money with this Void Race, so he definitely needed those 5th uh, and 6th gases for a long time. Uh, we have some good memes in the chat here. Easy for Tux, <laughs> Tux then put... Uh, I'm not sure... Ense Tux, is that you? Oh, is he on Ense as uh, Serral is? <laughs> Ense Gaming? Uh, that's a good, or is it Ense? Good meme. Ense yeah, yeah, yeah. Gaming? Ense Gaming, maybe? I, <laughs> I don't know. 
Uh, okay, this is it's gonna try to take this base here, but now it gets surrounded. Oh, oh, These uh, oh, units are oh. not positioned very well. This is not very good. Uh, because links are uh, a very cheap unit to make, and those are very gas heavy units that he's now yeah. losing. Stalkers cost gas. Uh, this is not a good. Oh. And where are the void ray? He, he, oh. He's still oh. clumping them up. Let okay, now he moves them, so he's using them. Good. He needs to get the third base up, but oh, uh, now uh, he should have seen the void rays here. Uh, MRK has. So uh, let's see what happens. I wonder what they will be able to do across the map. Doesn't he need them at home? Yeah, I don't he needs the defense at home so that he could take his third. Yeah, taking the third is very important. He's bunkering up his defenses here, but I don't like it. I, I want him to move out and take this this position more. If we look at the Serg's uh, second base, is it now? I, are, is there a spore? What can he do with this? There's hmm. no real air defense here yet. With yeah. all the Hydras seem to be across the map, there will be yeah. more of them oh. popping out. And he activates the ability that oh, Void Rays have that base. do more damage. Oh, Got and he him. does. Do we see a recall yep. here? Because uh, there's going to be more Hydras popping out. Uh, yeah, micro, recalling, getting attack. the Void Rays at home. He's gonna pull them away the long way. These oh. can be teleported home as a Protoss, but he does not. He wants to fly them across the map. Mm -hmm. uh, this does not look very good. Uh, he's floating a lot of money here, so we would want to see more unit producing buildings to be able to def defend this off. Because it's not that many units, it's only, what is this, 11 Hydras. But not to be at time we need to wait for the others as well. Those are expensive, not Battery good. overcharge. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, where did the other... Void Ray go? Did he lose all the other warriors in the middle of the map? Yes, he did. They oh, must have flown across that. the Hydra. So he can recall here from to the Nexus with the Voidrays to keep them alive. But I don't think that's going to be enough. And that's GG! GG. G oh, G it hurts my heart for Proders. Oh. Well, that's uh, only the first lo yes, game he's lost. I, I thought you, was g you were going to say that's how it goes. Because that's always how it goes. Oh, balance wine. Balance wine, Lamao. Whoops, whoops. No, but we'll see what happens in the other games. Yes. Might be able to uh, win the other game. Yeah, and it... Uh, do something fun. I must say, it was interesting to see what he did there in, be in the beginning, having just one base and then taking his second base. And the armor composition as well was kind of interesting. Yeah, it was a very interesting attack there, but he made it work. I believe he was able to... Uh, uh, put it into an even position at least, which was uh, good enough. But uh, I'm not where a, a big fan of how slow it was to take his third base, and um, the void raid strategy that, that he made was scouted and then hard counted by the Hydras. So um, did he even scout it though? Because that yeah, was what was was what I uh, asked. He was able. So to how did he know how why to make? A hydra list then, but he did see it. Okay. Yeah, he had a hydra risk then uh, early before he saw it, but he started to yeah. really produce a lot of hydras after yeah. he saw it. Yeah, but that's that's a bit luck to make hydra list, or maybe think that the uh, you might need hydra lists for the opponent because then you don't have to wait until you've actually seen some air units pop out and then make your hydra list. Then it was already done. Sure. So he's. Saving that time at least. Sure. And that's very nice for him. Yeah, I'm not sure if that would have been um, enough, so to say, like the, the timing of him not having built it already, because Void Rays are a powerful unit, but they can get countered so easily. Because they have so little health, so any amount of Hydras can deal with them quite easily. Uh, Do you actually think Void Rays are powerful? They deal a lot of damage. Maybe with the, we've seen one of those shield bear, uh, shield battery proxy void rays. Those are nice. Uh, yeah, those are real trouble. Good luck, have fun again for both of the players. Nice telling each other to have fun. Yeah, so we are now playing on uh, Death Aura for game number two. Uh, wow, John and Liam in the chat, where are you? Uh, okay, in the bottom right position of the map, we have... MRK! Wow. wow! Clap, clap, clap. Droop is excited. Ah, <laughs> like it, yes! Wow, heart. Uh, meanwhile, in the top left position of the map, we have representing software engineering, it is Tux. Wow.
So everyone, one field shouted out from yes. the players. Nice, oh, nice. Oh, this is uh, this is gonna be interesting. Yeah. So let's. I'm putting it on. Uh, MRK's oh, there was a forge. Yes. So we're going oh. to see some real memes here. Oh, I just looked at that green uh, map. What is it called? Green thing. And I thought it was a normal gateway, but it wasn't. No. Oh. And there we see pylon in the main. Oh. Okay, this probe um, needs to uh, get eliminated very quickly, or else it's going to keep on building structures. Yes, um, this is a very interesting pylon position. So usually, you mm -hmm. see uh, pylon, 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 pylon here, so you can build cannons in here on this map. Yeah, and so you can get one of the bases at least. Yeah, but these aren't going to reach the base. Yes, these are not really reaching anything, and they can get um, surrounded more easily. So we are all already seeing the nice of some of the cannons. I don't know, oh. Kev. Um, <laughs> I don't know, Kev. This is uh, not screaming success to me. Um, yep. Oh. Cancel? Cancel on this one? That was a kill, I think. That wasn't a cancel, yeah. So, uh, okay, we're seeing a gateway and uh, let's see if we can uh, stabilize into a normal game. Uh, Will we see a 4 6 Zerlings running across the map to punish this failure like we saw in CNET versus Jock? Maybe we'll see. I was drawing this time. Okay. okay, so it's going to slow down for a bit. Yeah. Oh, it's me. I'm Liam. Liam. Oh, hello, Liam. Hello. Luggit represents. That's right. Hello, Luggit. Hello. Okay, these panels are still here, so maybe a quick uh, warp gate and we'll see what happens. Uh, yep, yep, yep. So um, we can read the player introduction while we're waiting for the game to uh, kick back up. We can start with uh, MRK, who only introduces himself as a Zerg player who hasn't played since Horror of the Swarm. Well, he's <laughs> still looking quite uh, good in this series so far. Wow. And on the other side, we have the player submitted introduction of Tux. It's a little bit longer, so I'll read it here. Okay. This lad hasn't lost a game of StarCraft in years, but also hasn't played a game in years. His opponents oh. may be dominant in StarCraft, but he's dominant in the bedroom. He only mm. knows two strategies, rushing cannons and cannon rush. N Does he know them though? Oh, oh, oh shit, oh, 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 Nobody oh, oh. tell him how to build actual units. And we only keep him in the tournament because it's funny. Wow! <laughs> good memes, players, good memes. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, scouting here of the secondary base, which means that uh, uh, MRK now has the similar ideas to the last game, knowing that there's no expansion. So perhaps yeah. he should uh, focus a little bit more on armor units than he did last time where he lost his third base. Yeah, I do like the Twilight Cancel. Getting charge or blink for your stalkers or zealots uh, is actually nice. I, I like that. Yeah, the. I think that slow zealots are kind of weak. Oh, but the links come. Oh. Yeah, slow salads are quite weak, but I would actually prefer, just yes, because there's a Zergling heavy on the composition of the enemy, he, might, he doesn't know that perhaps, but in general I very much like plus one attack on the forge, because mm -hmm. that means that salads yep. two shot Zerglings instead of three shots, so it increases the efficiency by a lot. Uh, if these Zerglings are going to run in, I, the, the salads need to be in the wall, just yes, yeah. a little bit in the wall right here. Hold position. He's looking good because Ooh. I'm his coach, I'm sponsoring Robin, that's, uh, that's good. That's good. Oh, and he drops the um, shrine. Oh, this is, uh, yep, dark shrine, nice. a very important tech building, allows dark templars, for those who don't know, it's uh, invisible units, so these can really uh, make a comeback, and he's yeah. potentially and they can blink around. warp them in in the main base, so that's oh. going to be very interesting. And actually, it's kind of difficult sometimes for zergs to handle it, because they often don't have an overseer yeah. yet. But, uh, so that could be fun, blinking around with those, but... Mm. Tux needs uh. a second base. He needs to go down here and take it. And yeah. Does he even know that there are Zerglings knocking at his door? He will find out now, maybe. Yeah, oh, I think and yes. he's quivering in his boots. I don't think he has enough um, bravery to go down and take the base. Oh, and the Overlord won't see um, the shrine, so that's nice, keeping it hidden. Oh, little scout. Yeah, he only sees there's one more bar gateway down here, or working. He's getting charged, but I uh, would look like to see that plus one attack. No, he's going to get the gas for those DTs. Yeah, oh, so he's making Dead. two DTs manually and then being able to warp in two more. 
So I would like to see the next two warped in in the main base. I hope you haven't forgotten that mm. these exist here. <laughs> As uh, Jock said, those are just distracting pylons. Yeah. <laughs> but you can actually warp in from them as well. That would be nice. That's a good idea, Flex. Yeah, like I won't he's going to be able to warp into already right now. And he warps me at home. Okay, this screams to me like he has forgotten about his pylons. He can teleport yeah. in his Dark Templars right here and get to town immediately. Perhaps snipe yeah. there. Since they're invisible, the, the opponent won't see it and yeah. he will... Oh, it's going to take so much time to get them across the map. Yeah, but I don't... Oh, the... He perhaps noticed it. He had a Zergling here. And yeah, there he was. He's dead now. He's, make, he's making spores, yeah. which are a structure that can shoot upwards and also see invisible units. Yes. But we'll see if he can make something at the third base because there is not a spore there yet. Yeah, or... Not good, we can see it now, they're not as invisible anymore, and they're oh, straight no. into the spore crawler. Oh, no, the they're spore gonna get there. stuck by the Zerglings, Ooh. and they're over here right there. Uh. Okay, so uh, took this one uh, comeback change. <laughs> that is chance. expensive. Those units are expensive. Yeah, th I the think DGs, that was, that was Tux's heavy. one oh. chance, and I don't think it was uh, good enough, so to say. And now he's making another pylon, as you said. Maybe he forgot that he had those pylons, yeah. and now he wants to warp something in. But he's going to have Lings knocking at his front porch. Oh. Nice memes in the chat. Uh, I don't have time to read it right now, or out loud, but nice. Um, yeah, this is not um, not looking good for our software engineering this game. Uh, we have failed cannon rush into a failed DT attack, and now we have a very yeah. big income lead, very, very big income lead by a third player. Th those memes in the chat, some of them are sexual though. Th that's sex though. Robin wins these not even close, man. Uh, this hmm. game perhaps wasn't very close, but the match is not over yet. It's only uh, maybe 2-0, but that means that there is still, uh, still a chance of yeah. hope. Like. Interesting that he goes for the Hydras again. Does he just like Hydras? I enjoy Hydras, but why make the Hydras? Oh, G. Hydras are a, a good all around units. They're like the Zerg Marine in that sense. Um, well, I think so, but I don't see them too often by pro players going for Hydras unless the opponent has actually made air units and you need something that can shoot upwards. Hydras aren't the preferred unit, is it? Uh, maybe against uh, Protoss, but not otherwise. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see what oh, okay. next map. Okay, so oopsie daisy. There is where we should be. Oh. Imagine being a software engineer. <laughs> and to that I always say, imagine being an engineer at all. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Non-engineers, are there any out there? Yeah. Except for me? Lama, lama, lama. <laughs> uh, let's invite... No, that's the wrong button. Never mind. Check a dictionary. Software. I don't really get it, but maybe it's funny. Maybe it is. So we're hoping for our software engineer to take the last uh, map, uh, oh, and then it won't be the last map, sorry. But uh, take this next map, I was going to say, at least. Yeah, hopefully, ho hopefully, hopefully uh, we're going to see more games. Otherwise, this might be the last game of tonight, and it's only one hour long so far, the streaming session. We're seeing some... Uh, Harsh debate in the chat over whose player is best. We, uh, nice. I don't know. We'll see. Only time will tell. Only time will tell, yeah. Only pain. Uh, okay, so <laughs> let's move into the match. In the bottom left corner, we have shouting out Derek in the chat. Do we have a Derek in the chat? It Hello, is Derek. MRK. Wahahao. Protoss, good unit, am I right? Uh, not so good in this match. Okay, oh. in the top right corner, we have representing software engineering. He needs your help. It's down 2-0. It is Tux. Wow. Clap, clap, clap. Wow. Shout out to my boy, the Overseer. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of a hate relationship, maybe, to that Overseer. Wow. 
good <laughs> memes in the chat. Um, yeah. Yeah, if you're a battery engineer, you have more years to study StarCraft because your education is only three. <laughs> got him. Wait. Oh, Whoa, got him. Shit. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, so we oh. have a... Oh, there is a Derek in the chat. Hello, Derek. You have been shouted out. Yeah. Imagine not wanting Robin to win. Yeah, imagine that. Okay, so we have a <laughs> uh, standard opening from the Zerg player. We have Hatch Gas Pool. From the Protoss, we have double gateway uh, before the base. So we're going to see perhaps double Adept Harass, uh, which is a very committed attack. Uh, Tux, in this entire match, has not liked getting an early base. Yeah. Often you see a first pylon on the low ground even, and then a gateway and then a base. Uh, yeah. But so this is a much more um, conservative play, should I uh, say, which puts him behind economically than what is often standard. I know that you don't have to pr play Protoss defensively, but I feel like you should, or I like playing it defensively. I'm very interested in this like one base thing that he has going on, because he's not even a really cheesy um, cannon rush. Yeah. Just units from one base as a Protoss, I, I don't know. It feels weird to me, but maybe it isn't. Yeah, I don't know. Uh... Oh, someone said F Derek. Don't, that's not nice. My boy Derek. <laughs> or uh, uh, MRK's boy Derek. No, who, who, whose boy was it? Sorry. What? MRK? Oh, what happened? I don't someone know. said F Derek in the shed. Did they? I can't see yeah. any F Derek. Anyways. Oh, okay, that one doesn't work. It's exclamation point clear, guys, peeps. Okay, uh, we have uh, interesting oh, memes here. Again, oh, he goes is... for the... Oh, he goes for those invisible DT if the units Overlord again. Scouts, it, it's going to go course. right straight it's going to. for it, oh, really? Oh, no! What? Ooh. How many inches? Oh, I mean, centimeters were that? Uh, at least so six close, inches. No? Um, okay, oh no, it okay, it's going to be uh, no, but what happened? What? Oh, what happened? Oh, I thought it froze. Sorry, everything was just still. Sorry, I thought it froze for a second. Okay, so four links with speed, he's gonna send them across the map, I'm guessing, just to see what is happening. Yeah, uh, as I said, I, I, I'm very much waiting for this base here. Like, he needs to have gotten this base yesterday, we're 3 minutes 13. Uh, even though he's slightly in the lead now, he's going to be f so far behind in worker production. Uh, the Stalkers are getting another overall, that's good, but they need to retreat before the circling swarm on the other side gets through. Okay, this probe needs to stay here and he needs to uh, start falling back and recall as soon as the enemy gets here. Uh, he's, they're gonna run into the main and there's only one pylon here. The probe needs to get back here and build a field wall off. Probe, probe, probe. Oh, uh, we're seeing some drones as well. Will mm. we see a manor hatchery maybe? Okay, oh, this so this is problematic. Uh, problematic is to say the least. There's no army units left here. Uh, we have two stalkers that are forgotten down here, and yep. we're seeing the rest of the base getting killed off. There's no more unit production available from Tux and. Uh, yeah, Lamau stealing my minerals, yeah, the drones. And did he? <laughs> the GG! GG. Yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, Well wow. played. Thank you, Tux, very much for participating. Thank you for showing some good games. Yes, showing some good games for my fans. Uh, Hope to show good games. Please share. Please, please share for me. Please share. Okay, so that concludes the matches. And that was... Uh, Another pair of three O's. Is MRK also undefeated? He hasn't dropped a single map or... Uh, let me double check. So... Because uh, we said that that was the case for our players yeah, yesterday. Yeah, MRK has advanced. not dropped a single map. Neither has... Drawman. Neither has Cianit and ne neither has Idra. So all four players in the semi-finals have never dropped a single map yet. So uh, that strong players. Yeah, but I have a secret. Oh, oh. Someone is going to have to drop a map from now on. What wow! A secret to just lay wow. out there. Wow! Spoilers. Spoilers alert in the chat. Spoilers in the chat. Exclamation point! Uh, spoilers. Uh, so 
that concludes the matches. Uh, so let's show some other graphics before we uh, leave for today. Uh, this is of course what the tournament is all about. You'll see uh, the uh, conclusion for it on Friday and Saturday at 18 o'clock on the same channel. Here we have the prizes, both the nice trophies and also the gift card prizes from our lovely sponsor Enet. Woo, Enet, woo, woo, woo. Enet, can we get clap, clap in, in the, the chat, chat for Enet? Enet. And uh, we can also look at, uh, for example, joining us exclamation point medlem in the chat for the link that link will uh, if you sign up you will be officially a member of Lagit, and you'll be able to go to the uh, official yearly meeting and vote for uh, stuff so it's very very um nice you even get a free soda yeah it, you, you pay nothing you get something for free and we get something for free so it's amazing nothing to lose click the link in the chat it's right there Secondly, follow us on Facebook if you don't already. Uh, there you'll be able to stay up to date about future announcements. We're perhaps not not making any promises, but there maybe might be showman championships later and maybe in other games as well that you might want to be interested in. So please follow us on Facebook so you don't miss it. And finally, our lovely sponsor, Enet. Please go to their website and uh, if you need something, make sure to buy it from there if possible and also try to let them know who sent you. Um, wow. Wow. Hashtag sell out. Did Lagu uh, fix the CS yes. tournament the thingy? Yes, the uh, Counter Strike tournament with over 120 uh, participants Ooh. was organized by Lagit. So if you want to see something like that in the future, make sure to join us, uh, follow us, hit us up, and everything. GG, thanks, casters. Thanks. Oh, thank you, X Raptor. Yes, thanks so much for the chat today. Uh, it has been a lot of uh, banter in the chat, so to say. We'll hopefully see you all on Friday and Saturday for the conclusion of this two week tournament. And we're going to crown the one and only Chalmers champion. Wow. Wow, exciting, exciting. Place your bets, people. Yeah. Uh, so uh, please don't miss us Friday, Saturday. Put it in uh, your alarm, in your calendar, in your schedule, everywhere. It's yeah, the most important same thing. Same place, same time. Exactly. Same time, same place. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Let's kill the stream for today. It was a good day. Uh, thank you all. Uh, bye bye. See you for the semi finals.